Hello everyone, welcome to Lions Backyard Cricket. Today we are going to analyze the players to be aware of Proteus and let's look at the history of both the teams. Oh, he said that nicely. Yep, they're attacking JJ Smuts now. They'll go, it's through. Sri Lanka have done it. What a chase this has been. Fabulous, absolutely brilliant. Niroshan Dikwala set the stage. Quinton Dikak, he's a destructive opener who has more T20 experience than the whole Sri Lankan team, and he can be very dangerous from his first ball itself. And Queenie struggled to score during his captaincy, but uh, he has come back to his form as soon as he stepped down from the captaincy. So far, he had played 54 T20 internationals and scored 1,605 runs with a very good average of 33 and an impressive strike rate of 140. However, Queenie struggled to score against mighty Sri Lankas in the shortest format of his game, but it doesn't mean that he is struggling in the subcontinent. His IPL stats prove the damage can be done in the Asian wickets. So far, in his 54 matches, the most of the time he has been dismissed by a catch. This means he's an aggressive batter who pushes the ball is very hard. Most of the time, he scores with cards and drives. The majority of the runs came through the offside, especially between the cover and long off. But he's not a very good sweeper of the ball. He always struggled with the conventional sweep. So Sri Lankan spinners should target Queenie on this for the prize we get. Aiden Markram, a promising young prospect who led the Proteas for under 19 team. Since the retirement of Great Envy, Markram is a player which the team can rely on. So far, he has played 12 T20 international games and scored 357 runs with 450s. He's a clean striker of the ball who has a massive strike rate over 150. He's a very good player of the spin and Sri Lankan spinners should be well aware of him. David Miller. Miller the killer is a specialized player of the shortest format of the games and this destructive Miller. Shamsi. Number one treatment baller in the world, this left hand Chinaman has proven his value to the game since his debut. He couldn't show his colors while Proteus great Imran played to the team but after his retirement, Shamsi has shown his magical wrist to the world and wrist spinners are the valuable asset to the modern shortest format and Sri Lankan batters should be played very carefully against Shamsi. Kagizo Rabada, a young speed can who can do huge damage to the opposition team and currently is in the top 10 bowlers in tests and on the ice. So far he has played 32 T20 internationals and got 39 wickets with a very good bowling average of 26. However, it says he's not a decent economical bowler, he's expensive but can get wickets too. His pace can do a huge impact since he can bowl up to 150 km per hour and also he can swing the ball in both ways. Rabada usually has a very good line and a length. His aggression while bowling also a plus point of his point of view. Okay, here we have come to the end of the session and hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Have a good day and stay safe.